Wow! Congratulations! It's twentieth day of our twenty day awesome web challenge. I'm so proud of you that you managed to stick with me and that you end up with me here in this very very last video. So let's make the last one happen. And today we will be looking more into email automation. What is it? How does it work? How it can save your time? So let's check it out. Why is this important for you? Or should be? Well, first of all, it should save your time. Second of all, it can bring you even more customers. And third of all, you will have just very beautiful emails. Isn't that worth it to represent somehow your company, your brand? When we are talking about the email automation, there are actually two segments, let's say. The first one is these like info mails after someone is making purchase on your e-show, you or your system will automatically send an email to the customer so the customer is aware of the fact what is happening with his or her order. And I believe that all of you already have this covered. If not, please do so. It's super important for your customers. In that case, there is much higher chance that they will buy again something else. And it's very, let's say, also polite to let them know what's happening. And the second part, the second segment, is about these marketing emails. The emails where you have some added value for your customers or where you are offering something else, something new to them. So, and how to make these automated? This is what we are going to talk about. Imagine that you would write a personal email to thousands and thousands of your potential customers or your current customers without your involvement, without your time you, need, you would need to spend on it. The easiest way to create these automated email campaigns would be to actually use some tool for it. And my favorite one is MailChimp, which is for free up to 2,000 contacts. So you can try it for free. It doesn't cost anything except of your time, of course. And it's very nice, very easy to use. And there are very beautiful email templates which you can use, just like this pretty much. If you have time, you can do it on your own. That's totally up to you. Or you can assign someone to the task from your marketing team, right? The best way is to actually create the content and create this email templates or campaigns. Um, for example, for uh, the contacts who subscribe to your lead magnet we talked about yesterday. Or you can actually even create this for your current customers who already bought some products in your eShop, for example. Why is it important to have these automated emails with the campaigns which would be also a long term? So I'm not just talking about one sent email right now. Um, the reason behind is actually that thanks to this, you will be still in touch with your customers or with your potential customers. And again, you are bringing higher possibility that they will buy your product again. I even actually know one issue where they are having or where they are uh, where they have prepared campaigns for the whole year for their potential customers and customers so that sounds a little crazy on one side but on the other hand yes in the beginning it was super hard to prepare everything but then it's saving so much time for them the emails look great and the customers are coming back thanks to these emails and the interesting part about this one year uh, email campaign the whole concept is that at the end, the last day or last day after this one year, they are sending the last email, which is about the one year anniversary that they've been in touch for already one year with the discount for this anniversary. So this is just a small idea you can use even with your email campaigns. If you are a little more interested in the topic itself, just make sure that you go to MailChimp.com and check their guideline and tutorial in there. Uh, it will help you a lot. And but just for you to know, you will need some more time. This like 30 minutes uh, you have today, that won't be enough to create the whole campaign. 
So you will need more hours or days maybe to check it out or make sure that somebody in your team, in your marketing team will have this time to actually help you and create these email campaigns. Mailchimp and generally all these kind of tools are having a lot of advantages. You can work and see a lot of data in there. You can see who opened the email, you can see who replied to the email, uh, you can see a general percentage, how many people are opening these kind of campaigns, or what is the retention rate, open rate, and all these kind of things. And I actually know one B2B company who is using the fact that when they are seeing that somebody opened the email, within three days they are just picking up the phone and calling to the potential customer to follow up after the email. And this is actually bringing, him, uh, bringing them uh, better results in this, in this whole campaign. So it just doesn't have to be only email campaigns. You can connect it with your sales team. Uh, you can connect it with the phone calls, with the LinkedIn connections, anything pretty much. Uh, the email campaigns could be just the first part of the whole process. That's it. The very, very last day of our 20 day challenge. It's over. And I have to say that I am super proud of you that you managed it up to here. Well, but still, make sure that you will have these 20 to 30 minutes time today. Check out the MailChimp tool. Uh, talk with somebody in your marketing team. Make sure that you will create these uh, email campaigns. And I am glad that you spent this time with me. It's kind of sad on one side, but on the other side, it's not over everything. <laughs> I prepared this little bonus for you. If you enjoyed the whole challenge, I hope you did. You can check that out also. And actually write me below in the comments how you enjoyed the whole challenge. How do you see it? How is your web page improved? Uh, what do you manage to do? I'm actually keen on to find out. And also one more thing, which would be good to do today. Check your business. Make, uh, make sure that you will measure everything today and then put in your calendar note in like one month and two months to see how you improved, how after these all 20 days, after the all tasks you managed to do, how is your web page improving, how is your business growing and actually text me or write me on email christina at creativehandles.com uh, how, how are you doing, how is your business doing? So I'll be looking for and waiting for your emails. And if you need anything from my side, I'm always here for you. And I hope I will see you in some other time in some other videos. So have a nice rest of the day and see you some other time.